Dasara is just a day away and as you get busy with all the festivities that is happening, here is all the personal finance news that has a direct impact on your pocket and your life. I'm your host Ajay and let's start today's money time with some pleasant news on 5G. India's most affordable 5G smartphone Lava Blaze was unveiled by the Telecom Minister Ashwini Vaishnav. And the best part is, there is not much of a price difference between 5G and 4G smartphones. When can you get the smartphone you ask? Well, you can get it this Diwali. The smartphone also comes with a 50 megapixel triple rear camera and an 8 MP front camera. And from pleasant news, we increase the temperature to a rather bad news. Mumbai, the city of big dreams, is now going through a nightmare of price hikes on CNG and PNG. The city gas distributor Mahanagar Gas has increased prices by 6 rupees per kilogram and PNG prices by 4 rupees per unit. CNG will be priced at 86 rupees per kg, while PNG will cost 52.5 rupees per unit. This will not impact your grocery bills alone, but also your cost of maintenance if you own a CNG car. Up next, Food and Consumer Affairs Minister Piyush Goyal has tweeted that prices of 11 essential food items in the country have fallen by up to 11% in the last one month. Let's see which of those food items are. Palm oil prices have fallen by 14 rupees per litre to 118 rupees per litre. Vanaspati ghee has become cheaper by 9 rupees per kg. Sunflower oil has become cheaper by 11 rupees per litre and mustard oil by 6 rupees per litre. While Urad dal is currently sold at 106 rupees per kg. Hope food inflation has peaked out and there will be no further rise in food prices. A small finance bank in the country has launched a special fixed deposit scheme where it will give interest rate of as high as 7.9% on FDs of 501 days. The Unity Small Finance Bank has launched Shagun 501 Special FD Scheme. But it is only valid till October 31, 2022. Senior citizens will get additional interest rate of 0.5% which means they will get rate of 8.4% on FDs of 501 days. Currently, the small finance bank offers interest rates in the range of 4% to 7.9% on FDs of different tenures. The government of India automatically ensures deposits worth 5 lakh rupees of every bank account holder of all the small finance banks. And now we move on to share bonuses and splits. The online travel company Ease My Trip has said that its board will consider bonus in stock split on October 10, 2022. The travel facilitator has not disclosed the ratio of the bonus issue and the stock split issue. On Tuesday, the script jumped more than 6% to close at 5, 407 rupees on the BSC. And these days, many companies have come up which allow citizens to invest in shares of unlisted firms. Another startup joining this group is Stockify. Aspirant investors can invest in unlisted companies from the third week of October on Stockify's platform. They will have to create a login, update their KYC and DMAT account details. But only high net worth individuals or HNIs are eligible to invest through this fintech startup. Investment option is open for both resident and non-resident Indians. Up next, we move on to some news from the banking industry. State-owned Punjab National Bank has launched WhatsApp services for customers. To activate PNB's banking facility on WhatsApp, customers will have to save bank's official WhatsApp number on their phone book. The number is plus 919264092640. Customers can find out their bank balance through WhatsApp. They can get the statement of financial transactions. They can even request an issue of new checkbook on the communication platform. They can even opt to stop checkbook services. Currently, customers will only be able to avail of non-financial services on PNB's newest communication platform. They will get to avail of financial services later on. The state-owned bank has said that customers must check the green tick besides the profile name in WhatsApp to ensure that it is its official number. This facility is also available for people who are holding accounts with banks other than PNB. Next news is for all those who are looking to go abroad for higher studies. The subsidiary of private sector lender, the ICICI Bank, has launched a new type of bank account for all those students who are planning to go abroad to UK for higher studies. These students can open Home Vantage Current Account with ICICI Bank's UK subsidiary. Though it is termed as a current account, it will have the same features that students get in savings accounts here in India. Students can open this account digitally even before going to the UK. Next up, we have news for people who are looking to invest in IPOs. The IPO of Electronics Smart India, which sells products under the brand of Bajaj Electronics, received average response from investors. 
Tuesday was day one of the 500 crore rupee IPO. The allotment size was subscribed just over 50% at the time of shooting of this video. The quota of retail investors was subscribed 92%. Up next, we move on to some news from the world of smart gadgets. OnePlus has launched a new water-resistant smartwatch under the Nord segment called the Nord Watch. The Chinese electronics company has priced the Nord Watch at 4,999 rupees. It has guaranteed a battery life of up to 10 days on the relatively affordable wearable. The smartwatch went on sale on Amazon from 12 noon onwards on Tuesday. It will also be available on the OnePlus India website and select stores. Axis Bank and ICICI Bank cardholders will get a discount of 500 rupees on the Hi-Fi smartwatch. The smartwatch has been touted to be ideal for fitness freaks. And we wrap up today's money time with some news from the auto industry. Toyota has hiked the prices of select models in its portfolio. The increased prices are effective from October 2022. This quantum of revision varies across models. Select variants of the Toyota Fortuner are now costlier by 19,000 rupees to 77,000 rupees, while the car maker has temporarily halted bookings for the diesel version of the Innova Crista, the MPV has also received an upward revision in prices between 11,000 rupees to 23,000 rupees. That's all for today on Money Time at Money9. Keep watching Money9 English's YouTube channel and download the Money9 app to watch 2 plus 2 equal to 5. We wish all our viewers a happy Dasra. Take care and goodbye.